As a trustee, you make important and sometimes difficult decisions on behalf of your charity. But have you ever stopped to consider how you and your fellow trustees are making decisions? By improving decision making, trustees can better serve their charity's purpose and improve outcomes for beneficiaries. At the Charity Commission, we register and regulate charities in England and Wales. We also provide a range of support for trustees, including a five-minute guide full of tips and advice called Making Decisions that answers many of the questions trustees may have regarding effective decision making. It sets out legal principles like always basing decisions on information and not impulse. It explains the importance of keeping records to show how and when decisions were made. And it stresses the importance of you and your fellow trustees working together. When the opinions of an individual trustee are allowed to dominate, or when a small number of trustees drive through the decisions without proper discussion, or when some trustees don't participate fully, charities can get into hot water. Differences of opinion are, of course, part and parcel of life. They should be aired and shared, and where some trustees disagree with the majority, this should be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. Your governing document, which may be a constitution, trust deed or articles of association, may set out rules for how decisions are to be made. For example, how many trustees need to vote in favour to pass a decision. If your governing document contains rules, all trustees must follow them. By actively encouraging a culture of listening, you see issues with an open mind and you make better, more informed decisions that benefit the communities and causes that your charity was created to help. And that sounds like a solid decision in everyone's book. Take five minutes to read the guide and refresh your knowledge today.